Hello all and welcome to our lesson on World War I. So as you remember, there are four main causes of World War I. Militarism, alliances, imperialism, and nationalism. Also a pivotal moment was the assassination of Archduke Franz Ferdinand. So how did the assassination of one man lead to a world war? Entangling alliances. Remember, alliances were kind of like a truce or a pact to defend and support other countries. And the Triple Entente was an alliance between Great Britain, France, and Russia. Their rival was the Triple Alliance or the Central Powers, which consisted of Germany, Austria-Hungary, and the Ottoman Empire. So let's talk about how it went down. Austria-Hungary declared war on Serbia. And it's Russia, Russia is allied with Serbia, so it begins to mobilize their troops and get prepared to support Serbia. Germany declared war on Russia and France because Russia and France are allies. So is this a problem for Germany? Pretty much, because you can see right here, Germany is centered right in the middle of all the drama. Germany had a two front war. On one side, they had uh, Russia to the east and then France to their west. They were right in the middle. So German general Alfred von Schifflin he said, let's quickly attack France before Russia mobilizes. This becomes known as the Schifflin plan. He believed speed is necessary for it to work though. So we have to get to it as soon as possible. So let's talk about the Schifflin plan, stage one. French border was defeated too well. So what might the Germans do? And when I say it was defeated too well, it just means that they were kind of, their borders were breached quicker than anticipated. So, Germany invaded Belgium. Belgium at the time was neutral, meaning it didn't choose a side. Here's a map that kind of um, lets you see what the Allied forces were taking as well as what the German, German forces were taking, kind of the routes they were taking. We saw, you can see here that Germany um, in the black was, you know, hitting France in all different angles. And France was just setting up kind of a border to protect um, its front. Ultimately, Britain declared war on, war on Germany. Germans were just now too close to Great Britain. So the Germans almost got to Paris, but German soldiers were sent east towards Russia. Um, so they were kind of stopped in that trail onto Paris. While Russians mobilization picked up and the Western, the Western Front was weakened. Allies attacked Gap, Allies attack Gap in German lines and the the Marne River Valley. The Battle of the Marne um, 
was when Germans retreat and Paris is saved. Meaning the Schifflin plan doesn't work out and they're kind of fast act to, um, to fight, to battle, um, is kind of shut down. So Italy joined allies later. And you're gonna to wanna to remember this. They joined in later. Bulgaria later joined the Central Powers. But ultimately, people thought the war would not last long. In upcoming lessons, we're going to talk about the U.S. position and its neutrality. It's believing that it's Europe's war and it's not our problem. Ultimately, we do see that the U.S. does take a more active stance in the war. But it's not until the upcoming lessons that you guys are going to have more information about this. Enjoy.